What's your sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Today we do have another sneaker review, and today is on the True Blue Threes OGs. This is the 2016 release, and I did pick these up yesterday on Black Friday, which is when they dropped. And honestly, this shoe is super nice. Jordan Brand did a really good job with this, especially putting that Nike Air on the back. This is probably what brought a lot of people's attentions, or else they wouldn't have sold as they did. And moving on to the materials, you do have this pigskin looking leather, but it's not as soft as it would be on like the Jordan 1s. It is really nice touch. I used to not like this leather, but now I'm starting to slowly like it more and more. You do have your elephant print, and as you, it's hard to kind of tell, but it is kind of like a really, really minor suede material or nubuck, not exactly too sure. But what I can tell you is that this material will easily get dirty and it will be hard to clean. I can just tell by how the material is. And then down here on these panels right here, you do have normal white leather. Then you have your midsoles painted white right here, along with right here. You do have your white laces, your red eyelets, and then your blue eyelets right up here. More elephant print right here. Blue eyelets up there again. You have your red Jumpman right on the tongue. And what a lot of people are complaining about is the red on the back of the tongue, which honestly, I think it's a really nice detail. If it was blue, like it is on the other pairs, I don't think I would like it. And that's probably this is probably the only thing that like really catches my eye on this shoe because it does make the shoe pop. It's not just straight blue all the way through. They did throw some red in there, which makes it look really nice. And then of course you have your blue inner lining right here. And then you have your blue midsole. You got the air bubble, of course, like you do on all Jordan 3s. And moving on to the midsole, you do have your Nike Air in there. As you guys can see, it's kind of hard to tell. I just don't want to take it out because it's so hard to take it out of the shoe. This shoe is a pretty tight shoe. It's kind of hard to get your foot in there at first. And I'm not gonna lie, it does run a little bit small, maybe half a size small. But to be honest, I'm fine with the seven and a half. It's not a big of a deal for me. Moving on to the sole. I like the way they did this. They have the white, red, and then the gray. It's nice contrast. It makes the sole pop, even though nobody sees that. But little details like that is what catches people's eyes, especially like mine. I did pick these up on Foot Locker for $220, but after tax came out to like 232, which is a really steep price for Jordan 3s. That's really a steep price for any shoe, really. But nowadays, you know, sh shoes are going up in price. Especially Jordan brand, they know what they're doing. They know people are gonna buy them regardless. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this shoe. I will do it on feet, but I, I don't know if I'm gonna return them or not, just because I do like Silhouette a lot. This shoe is a, a bit bulky, like I said in the past. Jordan 3s are a bit bulky. But when I put them on my feet, they look really nice. The only thing that kills me is the blue. I'm not much of a blue person. The blue is not something that I would wear a lot. It doesn't really look good on me, so I'm still debating if I'll keep it or not. Anyways, that's enough talking. If you guys have any comments, make sure you leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It's your boy, Sneaky. Make sure you stay woke. Redneck.